Welcome to another video from uh, the CarPilot Pro. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about offline maps. And in the app right now, I have what everyone have uh, by default, and that's Google Map, uh, the satellite map. You can select other Google Maps as well, but that's not so important. What is important to understand is that Google Maps is not available when you do not have an internet connection. And if you have your boat equipped with a Wi-Fi echo sounder, or you use TCP or UDP to connect to the boat, then as soon as you connect, you're gonna lose that internet connection. And with no internet connection, then you don't have a offline map. How do we prepare offline maps? Well, we do that from the options menu. So let's just press it. And here you have the menu called download map. And when you select this, uh, the app is going to change into open street maps as default because you don't have the option at all to download maps. And the maps we can download are for Scandinavians, Start Kart, that's only Norway, and Enero, that's total Scandinavian. And then you have open street maps, and finally you have map box. Start Kart, open street map, Enero are ready to use instantly. Map box, you need to establish an account. I'm going to talk about that shortly. So, how does this work? This is in France. Then I select open street map. And then you zoom in on the area where you want to fish. And when you zoom in, then you simply tap this text, tap to save the map, and it's saved. Now, I already saved this from before. Uh, that's why the download was really small. But I can take the other water here. This one, tap again. And you see here, it doesn't take much time at all. When I were here the last time, I actually fished in all three waters. So why not save that as well? Tap to save the map. And to the right, you have what is already downloaded. You see the date when it was downloaded. And you have a checkbox. I'm going to talk about that shortly. And you have a trash bin, which you can use to delete. So when you come in here and you wonder what maps have I downloaded, just press that checkbox. And you will see this is the first water I downloaded. Then there's a second one. This is more or less the same water, so I don't need it. So I'm going to press delete on that. And this is then that water and I have this water. So now I have maps about everything. Before we see this in action, let's also set up map box. Then we go back. To set up map box, you need to go into the settings. And let me just first show you what happens if you select map box and don't have the setup correct. So you press this map chooser and the cogged wheels, those are for selecting maps. And here I'm going to try map box. I get a error in red down here saying I don't have the correct credentials. So in order to get the correct credentials, let's open a web browser and we see it map box. And what you need is to establish an account by map box. And you do need to enter a credit card when you create that uh, account. But as you see here, uh, you get 200,000 tiles each month for free. And that's not bad. You're going to download quite a lot uh, in a month to use 200,000 tiles. Uh, when the account is created, I'm not going to into how you create an account, but then you select from the chooser up here to go to the account. 
and you copy your public token like this copy it then you head over to the app we still have a problem here and we go into the settings app settings and this is a setting for map so we're going to select that and then you go all down and you see map box and when you open it then you have a edit text field for the map box access token and this is where we're going to paste in the public access token from Mapbox. So let me just delete that helping text. And since I copied, I can now long press in this field. And I get the pop-up menu to paste. And I paste, click OK. And I can exit settings. And now I have Mapbox maps. So let's just for fun download also this water using mapbox so we go into the download map and i press tab to save the map so as you see here i have 200,000 tiles per month and i'm going to now use 241 of them and this is water which is around 300 meters wide. And at the max here, I think it's around 100 meter wide. So I think you get the picture. You're not going to go bankrupt by using Mapbox. All right. Now let's uh, restart the app and have a look at how offline map looks when you don't have an internet connection. First, I'm going to deselect the Wi-Fi and then I'm going to restart the app so now we're restarting the app and right now it zooms in where I live but down there I can see that I have a couple of waypoints so I can use the zoom button and zoom to the mission and here we actually have an offline map and it covers the entire water and then some because I've downloaded some extra from before. But if I zoom a little out, you can clearly see that you don't have the entire map here. You have a tile here, a big tile, and then you zoom in the Google Maps engine that runs below here is going to replace that with additional maps and you can see you can zoom quite well in here so this is a stretch of like 20 40 meters or something so you can zoom quite well in and i did did i also do this for open street maps yeah sure so to summarize if I go into the download map area, you select which map you want to download from here. When you have an internet connection, you can tap to download it. I don't have that right now, so that doesn't work. You can browse the different maps you have already downloaded by clicking on these checkboxes. And you press the delete icon to get rid of maps you don't no longer need like this.